Hi, this is Christian from Skate Pro. In this video, I want to show you how you take off your old binding and how you add in a new binding system. In this case, I have an SNS binding system already mounted on the cross country ski. And I'm going to show you how you drill it off and how you add in for NNN system the base plate, it's called NIS plate. And afterwards, how you click in the binding system under this sticker. There's a screw here, and under this plastic plug. Now I pull this binding backwards. And here you see two screws. Now the SNS binding is off this ski. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to fill out these holes and I do that with the wood glue and these white plastic blocks that I add in. And this is both for filling out the hole and to avoid that moisture gets into the core of the of the ski and destroying the core. And now I will add these plastic plugs. You might want to cut a bit of the edges of the plastic plugs if it's not possible for you to push them in. So I've done that in this case. It's totally fine that there's a part of the plastic plug over the top here because I want to cut this off in the end. Now I'll let the ski with the glue stand and dry up for around 10 to 15 minutes. Now the old binding, the SNS binding is off the ski and we want to make sure that we have the right balance point to mount the new binding. And already we have from mounting of the old binding this line here showing us the indication of the balance point. But I just want to check it out to be sure that it's, that it's the right point. It's, it's perfect. Now with the in and in binding, I'm gonna use this base plate. It's called NIS and there are two pieces, one for the front of the binding and one for the toe piece of the binding. So first I want to find out where to add this on the ski. I do this by using this rig, Rotterfella rig. This line shows the balance point, point, so I have to be able to see this line here, the balance point through this window. I've adjusted this so it fits most regular boot sizes within a range of four sizes. Now when you have added on this rig, just make sure that it's firm and it fits the right places. Now I drill through this hole with this. Now I add wood glue once again. Adding first the front part the NIS now the last part after mounting the NIS plate on the cross-country ski is simply just to slide in the heel piece and the front piece with these rails here. 
Along with the NNN bindings comes a mounting key that you use for sliding both the heel piece and the front piece in on the NIS plate. So it means that this edge here has to catch this hole. Now, this is firm and tight, and then we take this piece again, use the key, and slide it from the front. Now it's in the neutral position that I want it to be. So, actually, now we're done. We've changed the binding system from Salomon SNS and to Rotterfeller with the base plate called NIS and the binding system is called NNN. This is how easy it is. For more tutorial, go into Skate Pro YouTube channel.